Hello and welcome to the Tom FM channel, or as it should be named now, Tom F1, because we're playing some Formula One 2019. It's a game that came out a few weeks ago, and I've been playing it non-stop. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I mentioned in the comment section a few videos ago, and I said, would you like some videos on Formula One? And everyone seemed to say yes, so we're going to give it a go. So first and foremost, don't worry, this will not affect any football manager content out there. Don't worry. This is almost like bonus episode sort of thing, like a bonus series, something like that, that we're going to try out for a little while. I'm planning on doing three or four test episodes of this. If you guys really like it, we'll carry on with the rest of the season. If you guys don't like it, it's not getting many views, no engagements, we'll just stop it and it's like nothing ever happened. So don't worry about that. It's just like a test. If it does go well though, we will finish one season of this on this channel and then we might think about doing a second channel. But I don't want to put loads and loads of different games out on this Football Manager based channel. That's that's my thinking, but I thought for a trial run, we'll put out here anyway. So the plan then, as I said, is to do one season. So we'll probably sign for, we'll try and sign for like a Red Bull, I think. We don't want to be right at the top. We don't want to be right at the bottom, but we want to, if we're only doing one season, we still want to fight for the title and try and improve. So I think Red Bull is the happy medium there. Obviously McLaren and Ferrari are meant to be the best. So Red Bull in third, hopefully we can try and push them to win the championship at the very end of the season. Now my face isn't going to be on every video. Uh, in fact, there's going to be no face cam on any videos. I just thought I'd have it here to sort of introduce a series and be a bit more personal on this uh, opening episode to get to know everyone. If you are new around here, by the way, my name's Tom and the channel's called Tom FM because I make Football Manager videos. That's that's the t that's the name there. Very creative, I know. We might change it to Tom F1 because that's how imaginative I actually am. Either way, I'm really looking forward to this and hope you are as well. And if you are, please do drop a like on the video. And if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing as well because it'd be great to have you on board and great to have you on board for this little mini series we've got going on. So I'm going to vanish now. You won't see this face again in this series. Uh, maybe on special occasions, maybe. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, I'm going to disappear now. Enjoy. So we're going to jump into a, a brand new career then, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to let them talk to you though and explain it. 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. So as that video explained, the, uh, the Formula 1 career mode starts off in Formula 2 and basically you have three sort of scenarios that you play through before you get to Formula 1. Um, so they're quite short. It's, it's a nice introduction, I think. It's like it's almost like the journey from FIFA because there's quite a lot of interaction with other drivers. But once you actually get to Formula 1, nothing happens. It's like it doesn't carry over anything like that. So I'd like to see in future games that carry forward, I suppose. But it's a nice little introduction to the game. Uh, we're going to choose Carlin as our Formula 1, uh, or Formula 2 team, I should say, sorry, because they're based in the UK. And it makes sense. I'm based in the UK. So we'll, we'll, we'll pick Carlin to start off with. And as previously mentioned, we are thinking about going to... Uh, Red Bull. So we're going to join the Red Bull Driver Academy as well. And we're going to start a career with that. The weekend structure, right. Practice is on, but you won't see that. I'll do that off camera. Uh, qualifying, we're going to have as the full weekend, Q1, Q2, Q3. I'll show you highlights of that. And then for the race, we're only going to do 25% because any more than that, I can't concentrate for that long. I can't decide if I want to do it live and break it up. Live, show you the whole race or just do like post highlight commentary sort of stuff. We'll work out what's best, but we'll work out a happy medium between you and I and what you, what you prefer and what I like and things like that. And then the AI driver difficulty is going to be on 100. It goes up to 110, but we're going to stick it on 100 right now because as it suggests, I'm a legend. So we're going to try that out. Uh, we've got gameplay settings as well. That's nothing's changed. That's all pretty standard, I think. And then the assists, all right? If you're watching this thinking I'm going to be a pro driver, Please think again, because that's not the case. We've got brake assist off, all right? That, that's as far as it goes for me, though. Brake assist off, anti-lock brakes on, because I can't deal with not doing that. Traction control on a medium, otherwise I'm just spinning around everywhere. Now, the racing line is on corners only. Now, a lot of Formula 1 YouTubers don't have the racing line on because they're professional. They know what they're doing. I, on the other hand, have no idea what I'm doing. I don't play racing games that often, and so I just don't know track layouts. So we've got the, the racing line on the corners, at least. So then I know what I'm doing. I get more enjoyment at the game that way. 
if I didn't know where the corners were, I would be 20th in every single race at the back of the grid. So there's no point not having them on. Corners have to stay on for me. Apologies for that, but you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, gearbox automatic. Again, I can't be asked to do the gears. I'm playing on a controller, not a steering wheel, and I don't know what I'm doing with gears. So we're leaving it on automatic, uh, pit assist on, pit release assist on, and ERS mode on automatic. Because again, there's so many buttons to be faffing around with to get to ERS, and I don't know what I'm doing to concentrate on that. So we're leaving them automatic. So there's the weekend structure, settings done, assists on. Let's go through to this first scenario then in the F2 season. Event one out of three. I'll let them explain it to you. Arlen's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've got some speed at the top end. But you're very close to the finish. You can still compete to get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. So, apparently, we've got an issue with the turbo which means that we, we can't go very fast. So we've already been overtaken by our rival uh, called Devon Butler, and now we've got to try and just finish as best as we can, I think, essentially. Hopefully, that's, hopefully that'll be okay as we nearly spin out on that first corner. Fantastic, we do spin out completely. I've crushed it. Uh, not a good start. Right, let's pretend that never happened then. Let's just have another go at this. Let's pretend I didn't spin out there and uh, we get on as per usual. That's a much better corner. Brilliant. That's much better. Let's uh, let's keep going then. Fantastic. Ah, apparently so my teammate wants to pass me, apparently. He's right behind us. Okay. Well, considering I've got no turbo, that seems fair enough to me, I suppose. Like, he's behind us. He needs to get past. We can't go very fast. Okay, well, I've, I've done that radio man. The, the man on the radio told me to let him pass, and to be fair, I, it wasn't like I even tried to let him pass. I was on the full accelerator, and now we're going to race with this guy instead, because the teammate's passed us now. He can get the points that he wants, and um, well, let's have a go then. Let's have a go at trying to stay in sixth place. Gone a bit wide round there though, which isn't great, obviously. But let's let's keep us going round this next few circuits, next few corners. Break into that one. Brilliant. I can already tell you now that I cannot do this live. I'm doing it live right now, but I think in the future episodes it's all going to be post record recording like highlights and stuff because this seems difficult to concentrate on driving and also record as well as we uh, we get back to pretty much where we started off actually on this sort of short back straight sort of thing. It's a DRS zone in Spain. This guy's trying to get past us. He's coming down our outside. Can we outbreak him into the corner? We 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 do. We just about get the move done on the inside, protecting ourselves. We are very, very vulnerable on the straights. We've got to make the time up on the corners because we have no turbo, obviously. We've got no power whatsoever. These cars are massively faster. One's coming down our inside. Bit of contact there actually. I think we can probably take him into the corner. Oh, well, we can't. Or can we? We've somehow outbreak them into the corner there superbly well. And uh, we enter these fast first few corners in Spain. If we can hold them off for one more lap and stay in sick, that would be an absolute blessing. I don't know how we'd do it. Although he's coming up our inside there. He's, had, he's made the move. We've just about avoided the gravel. We've lost sixth. We've lost seventh now as well contact all over the place i've hit the back of him as i got hit by the car behind me as well i've cut the corner massively and we've dropped down into eighth now and we're skidding all over the place trying to keep up with them really i should just let them go past me just let them go past me i reckon we can take them in the corners though that's the thing i reckon we've got the cornering ability to take them out oh okay i think they're getting away from us unfortunately as we enter the uh the pit straight now now it's damage limitation on this final lap. We've got DRS actually as well, which is good. I didn't realise F2 cars have DRS. This guy, Gunter, is trying to come up our right-hand side. 
The cars in front of us are way ahead now. We've got the racing line though into the corner. But he's got the inside line. But we've managed to make it stick for now as we go with the gravel ever so slightly there. Trying to catch up with the two cars who are battling ahead of us. We've maintained 8th place. I don't know if you can get these kind of things happening in the actual career mode. Like I don't know if you just, you know, like the turbo goes off in actual career mode. And we've had a touch from behind as well, which has made us go wide. Lose a lot of space, although they touched us. They've spun out and we've actually gained so much time on them. So we're not going to finish any lower then 8th, we've got a 2.8 second gap to the car in front, but I don't think we're going to be doing that as well either. I don't think we're making up, so we'll settle for 8th. Devon Butler, who is the guy that overtook us, he's our rival. He's won the race, which is, you hate to see that. You hate to see Devon Butler winning the race, especially when he's your rival. And he's meant to be a prick, really. Although I quite like him. In my career mode, when I started off, I quite liked him. I thought he was just a great character, to be fair. But as we come around the final corner and cross the line in 8th place... It's not too bad. Not too bad. Well done. Good finish. He stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. And there is Devon Butler on the podium. You hate to see that. Hopefully soon it'll be us up there on the on the podium instead. But uh, we've now got some interviews to do. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. OK, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? So in these interviews, you can either go and be a sportsman or a showman. Now, usually I'm a bit of a sportsman, but for this series, I want to come across as like Max Verstappen on steroids. I want to be like the egotistical one. So I'm going to say, I don't need to settle in. I'm a professional. I do my job and the rest is up to the team. We'll say that. Showmanship increased. We love it. Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Right, what do we say here then? Um, it is what it is. The team thought Lucas Webber was faster, so they made the call. We'll say that. That's the, I mean, it's not too bad of an option. Oh, that was it. That was pretty quick. So only the two questions there. Fair enough. Hey, look. I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm, and remind me, how many F1 races have you won? You watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. And this is what I mean. Like, Devon Butler, he's meant to be like the bad guy and Weber's your teammate. But I love the character of, of Butler. He comes across as just such a good character. So I quite like him. Weber, he just sounds boring to me. Look at them go. Devon Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival. Desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. So, scenario is, we've had contact with Butler. We've had to go into the pits to get a new front wing. 
he's also got to pit, but I think he's got a time penalty as well. I'm sure our engineer will, will tell us in good time, but we've got to finish this race ahead of Devon Butler now. That's the scenario here. So then, we've got to beat him, as, as, as the engineer says, which is good. So he's got a time penalty, which is absolutely fine. That's quite good for us. But he's also got to pit as well. He's got to have his stop-go penalty, I think. That's what it is. He's got a five-second stop-go penalty, if I remember rightly. So he's in the pits now. We're not too far away from the pit. So he's got to stop for five seconds, then have his change. I think he'll probably come out ahead of us. And then we've got to try and overtake him. So it's going to be quite... This is a tough one, to be fair, because he's going to come out quite far ahead of us, I reckon. But going into these uh, final corners here, again... Beautiful racing line on, telling me exactly where to put myself. He's come out in P7, apparently. Okay, so we've got quite a way to go to catch him. I've never raced on 100, 100 difficulty as well, so um, I, I don't know if we're actually going to make it or not. I've never raced on it before, so we'll see. But uh, my teammate just picked up fastest lap of the race, which is fair enough. That's pretty good. Devon three places ahead of it. I think we probably have lost time, to be fair. We're now 4.2 seconds behind. We're losing time. Not good. Late braking constantly. Early throttle. We'll go wide, but it's... We've got to do everything now to try and catch up, and I don't think I'm going to do it. Which is... Just shows my... I'm ambitious in terms of putting the 100 difficulty on, but as you can see, as I try and late break, it's not working out for us at all. I'm just not very good at the game. The car behind us is catching us up rapidly. We've gone slow round Sector 1 as well. I'm sorry, boys. I just don't think it's going to happen as Devon is still in P8, but we're P11. It's not happening, lads. It's really not happening. I do apologise. I thought I was better than this. Now, do I take a dent to my pride and turn it down from 100 to a more reasonable one? Or do we stick it on 100 and just try and get... I think we're going to stick it on 100. We'll keep it on 100. There's not a chance. We're probably going to get overtaken as well by this guy behind us, actually. We're now five seconds behind the car in front of us. How do we get faster? 100 difficulty is actually really hard. Because I did this when I first started. When I first loaded up the game, did my first career mode, I had the difficulty set to 20, like, because I didn't know what to expect, and I ended up winning this race. But clearly, that's not the case, as we're about to get overtaken by a red car, um, which is a technical term for a fast car, because... Ferraris, they're fast, obviously. Everyone knows Ferrari's a fast car. And so if you've got a red car, that means you've got at least an extra 10 miles per hour just because of the paint colour. And that's what this car behind me's got. He's got an extra 10 miles per hour because he's in a red car. So really, we should have tried to get that car when we signed up for a team. So it's, it's my fault, really, if we're being honest with ourselves. I've not picked the right car if it's not a red one. Um, and again, over this sector checkpoint, we're now five and a half seconds behind as I'm so messy even the corner like indicators the, the line turned on I'm not fast at all the red car again is finding that extra bit of speed from somewhere as we try and oh my god there's another car as well I've smashed into the back of this red one going wide we are not completing this boys I am sorry like we're not catching up to Devon Butler we're now just playing for pride as we are <laughs> how are we losing this much time why am I so slow I didn't think I was as bad at the game but clearly I am atrocious as we go very wide, very wide. We've got DRS on this guy now to try and get in the slipstream, but he's still pulling away from us, even though we're in a slipstream and we've got DRS. Let's go for a dive down the inside. We've dived and it's the brakes aren't working, okay. Well, sometimes brakes don't work and this is one of those situations. Lad, we they were taken by, oh, it's our teammate. Okay, I was gonna try and crash into him if I'm honest with you, but. It was our teammate that we've lost the place to there. We'll dive down his inside and the inside of that car into the gravel. Lucas Weber's got us. I've spun it round. Okay. Okay. And as if by magic, I'm suddenly behind Weber again, as if nothing ever happened. Hmm. I wonder how that happened. Nothing to do with, with replays or anything like that, but uh, we'll, we'll carry on as uh, there's not a chance we're catching up to, uh, to, to our teammate, let alone our rival Butler. So this scenario is not a good one for us, okay? We're now being... He's hit me there, okay. I may have gone over his racing line a bit, but um, we've done a nice 360 then. We've not lost the place to him, actually, because he's also off. We have lost the place to other cars, though. 
if you, like, seriously, when I said earlier on today's video, if you're expecting me to be good at this game, think again. So we're being overtaken again. What's this about? Right, we're going to have a good race with this guy around the final few corners. We're going to get in a slipstream and we're going to get him on the final corner. P16 is going to be ours, okay? Late break into the corner. Oh, we, oh, I've lost the time there. Let's, oh, he's, I've got a warning for exceeding track limits. This guy's braked in front of me and he's going to beat us to the line, unfortunately. Um, not clean racing at all. I am better than this, I promise you. I am better than this. Things didn't really go your way today. Let's have your take. It seems to me that collision with Devon clearly cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed with the final result? Yeah, I'm disappointed. It's absolutely outrageous that Devon Butler got away with a five second penalty. He should have been disqualified. So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? Um, I'd hope to be able to catch him up, but the gap turned out to be too large. Um, but even as, no, this is the one to go for. No, I knew as soon as it happened, even someone as good as me had no chance. There we go. That's the ego answer. You and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Our championship chances, right. Okay. Um, we've been carrying a lot of momentum in past few races, which is a brilliant feeling. We'll say that. That seems pretty neutral. Okay, let's see what they have to say for themselves Devin. then. Devin, stop. No, now I'm busy. Hey, what are you doing out there? Seriously. I'm going to celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. Yeah, and I wasn't because it was my line. You were in my space. You shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No! Someone could have been hurt. And that didn't happen, so what's your problem? My problem is that your actions out there are too dangerous. Listen, contact happens, okay? I took my penalty, but I kept it focused, kept it smooth, and came out on top. That's racing! I need to grow up to you every time I make a tough move. You want to play race director? Then quit driving and take the job. Until then, I don't owe you anything. Devin, you don't get it. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Look, you grab your space on the track and then it's all or nothing. That's just how it goes. And anyway, you still couldn't beat me even with my penalty. So no hard feelings, okay? Not from my end anyway. See, he's meant to be like the, you know, the bad guy. But I love him. He's, he's just, he's brilliant, isn't he? He's such a good character. And it's, and it's Weber. He's like, oh, you should have said sorry. I mean, shut up, mate. Come on. We, we, love, we love Devin Butler here. Weber, here we get out of there. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship, and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed and plenty of excitement for the fans, no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned champion. I can't wait. So, heading into this, this final scenario then, me and Butler, we're tied at the top of the leaderboard. Now, it doesn't really feel like a rivalry because, I mean, I've made it like that. I've been rubbish in these opening two scenarios. But this is the, this is the final scenario now and we have to finish ahead of Butler. And as long as we finish ahead of him, we will be the world champion of Formula 2. Which is quite good, which is quite good obviously, but it's because I've been so bad, it feels like a bit detracted. But we're going to go into the race anyway. It's a race start, five lights, Away we go. Butler is in fourth. I can see him ahead of us. So we've got to have a really, really good start here. We've had quite a good start. Let's dive down the inside here. We've made up a place into seventh, which is quite good. That's the first overtake we've had, I think, pretty much. Um, as uh, Alex Albon's ahead of us, we try and go around the outside. What is that, Tom? What a ridiculously bad line that was. 
dive down the inside again, cut the corner a little bit. Um, Albon is uh, still ahead of us, which is fine. We're now going around the inside of him though. He's going to have the better traction at the corner as he does there, because we took the, the inside line. He's getting ahead of us a little bit, but we're getting ahead of the car behind us. So, if we can keep it nice and tight and steady, we've got five, six laps to overtake Devon Butler. Let's just, I mean, come on lads. So now let's, we're going to the first corner then. Let's try and go for a dive up the inside of Albon, which we make happen. We get past him, there might have been contact. I couldn't feel anything though, I don't know. Uh, we're slipping and sliding out the corner and Albon actually gets us back there. So fair play to him, that was a, a good maneuver and the cars in front of us are getting ahead. But we have to go for another dive down the inside, I reckon. Dive down the inside, Albon can't do much about it. We've cut the track quite severely there. Um, again, it's my late braking. Obviously these cars aren't made for late braking. I need to try and sort that out and just not brake so late. Future episodes of this, definitely not going to be live commentary because it's just so hard to keep talking and race at the same time. This Butler is ahead of us again now, which isn't any good. We've got to do something magical now. See, we've crossed the line there. I've not been talking and we're now down 3.6 seconds to Devon Butler. So, um, we're not winning the we're not winning the championship, I don't think. We're not catching up with him. We're still going slower than him as as it stands at the moment. Um, sorry, lads. I, sorry. If anything, what we have learnt here today, what we have learnt is that I should probably turn the difficulty down to like 90 or something like that. Because um, it's not like we're not competitive. But we're not we're not doing as well as we should as we've fought very hard there with Albon for that place. Fair play, we've, we've actually made it work. So that part of me makes me think, oh yeah, maybe we should stick to a hundred. And of course, all these cars are meant to be equal. I think, I think at least as far as I'm aware, is we go into Formula One. Obviously, when we go into the Red Bull, we've got a massive advantage over other teams behind us so we'll see how that works out basically and i'm sure every f1 save that you've watched they've actually won everything haven't they me on the other hand we've done appalling so you're seeing the other side of it now i'm just showing you the cutscenes that happen when things don't go your way because everyone sees the cutscenes when things do go your way but obviously as i am atrocious on 100 difficulty at the moment uh, it's it's not really it's not really working out is it We've got quite a nice train behind us. If you look at the mini-map in, uh, in the bottom corner, we have got quite a nice train behind us, um, which is interesting. At least I'm keeping the race exciting for everyone else outside of a top five. Like the top five, they're in their own race, but everyone else is having a great time overtaking each other on the streets. I'm, I'm keeping it exciting for everyone else at the moment, and I'm trying to defend massively as, again, a bit of contact it's, I swear it's not my fault but it probably is my fault if I'm being honest with ourselves but I've maintained the position if we can come home in P6 that's my championship one. Oh, it's three wide here at this stage they've both done me to be fair uh, now another car I don't understand oh, for goodness sake I don't oh my god I don't quite understand how I'm so slow in a straight line like what is going on this shouldn't really be the case should it Right, I wasn't talking, but I've somehow been spun out by someone else. And I've just done a donut. Okay. Well, this couldn't get any worse, could it? Oh my god, I've just crashed out of the race. This doesn't actually get any worse, does it? This doesn't get any worse. Uh, we actually have an option to do a flashback. Um, which we will do, just to finish the race off, because we're on my last lap now. So yeah, that went well. 20th uh, out of 20. Brilliant race from us. Um, okay, wh what we've what we've gathered from this is Devon Butler wins the Drivers' World Championship. What we've gathered is that I'm turning it down. I'm turning it because on my career mode offline and with McLaren, and I'm on 85 difficulty on that, and I'm getting podiums. So I thought 100 wouldn't be too bad, but clearly it's awful. So we're going to turn it down to 85. I think. Well, things didn't really go your way today. Let's have your take. Well, you went into this final race with the championship in your grasp. 
How are you feeling about being so close but missing out? Well, it's not a lie, really. It's not a lie because the results would have been very different if it wasn't for a few race incidents. Wow, that was a thrilling end to the season. But I imagine not the result you were hoping for. I know, no, Claire, it really wasn't the result we were hoping for. Um, but, I mean, what what's the most arrogant thing to say here? Um, not at all. I drove brilliantly yesterday, but that counts against you in the sprint. I don't know what that even means, but we're going to say that. Well, we've been hearing rumours of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? Yeah, I'm going to be in Formula One next season. All I can say is uh, I know I'm one of the best drivers in the world. I know I'm one of the best drivers in the world. I have just finished 20th and bottled the title on my last day of Formula Two. But I'm one of the best drivers in the world. Given the chance, I'll prove it to everyone. There we go. Gavin, much as it hurts, we admit that was a great drive today. Congratulations on the championship as well. Well, I'm sure you thought you had me for a while, but I guess your luck just didn't hold out. Oh, uh, I haven't got long. Could I have a quick word? Sure. Privately. Oh, okay. I'll see you later then. So, I'm sure you've probably already heard, but if you haven't, I'm going to be racing in the F1 Championship next year. Now, I don't know what your plans are, but uh, let me give you some friendly advice. Don't try following me. Well, sure. You might get an offer from uh, one of the smaller teams, probably someone desperate, and then you'll be stuck in P18 all season with car trouble. And you won't ever really be able to challenge me, but you stick it out here for another year, now that I'm gone, you've got a fighting chance of winning next year. And if you can manage that, I'm sure one of the larger teams would love to have you. As a development driver. Hey Devin, press time. Oh, look out for yourself, yeah? Man, he does not want to race you. Stay in F2? Ridiculous. I was uh, listening to the whole thing. Too bad for Devin, though. I'd be shocked if you don't have an F1 contract offer already. And if my deal pans out, man, his head is going to explode. <laughs> right, well, see, see, this guy, Weber, he's even dropping on my private conversation. I don't like him. I, I actually prefer Devon Butler. So I'm looking forward to racing with him. Obviously, you, you don't have to do F2 again. You just go straight into Formula 1, as my agent is now going to explain to us, apparently. But... Uh, I personally, I like Butler more more than more than Weber. Welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But... I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. So we've got to choose our Formula One side now, and <laughs> despite us, right, okay, Despite us in that first race dropping loads of places, the second place dropping loads of points uh, places, the second race dropping loads of places, and then the third race dropping loads of places and finishing last, we have offers from every single team, which is I mean a bit ridiculous. But of course we joined the uh, the Red Bull Junior squad, so we're gonna we're gonna go for Red Bull. We're gonna try and win the title away from 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 Mercedes or Ferrari. We're gonna go for Red Bull as previously mentioned. Uh, our, our expected qualifying position is sixth. Expected race position sixth. We're second driver. Team goal is hard. We've got not really many bonuses there apparently in our contract. So I mean, let's just accept the contract. We're going to Red Bull. We can't change it at the moment. So there we go. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that. Congratulations, you've earned it. So, here we are then, we're in Australia. This is going to be next episode. Um, it's going to be on Friday or Saturday this episode, I'm not quite sure. It depends what happens with, with uh, Fort Manager stuff. But uh, Friday or Saturday 
for the Australia race, which is exciting. I think the plan is then basically to take the difficulty down from 100 to 85 to what it is in my, my offline career mode, because I know that the AI there is relatively competitive with me. So I'll take it down a bit, and then next time it won't be live, I'm going to post record everything so i'll record the, the the footage and then i'll edit it down and then i'll talk over it because I, I, I can't concentrate racing and talking at the same time so that's that for this uh, opening episode of formula one i mean it was it was memorable perhaps for the wrong reasons as i am apparently an atrocious driver but uh, i hope you've enjoyed it if you have done It'd be great to have you on board. There's going to be a subscribe button in the middle of the screen right now, which you can click on. And if you are new here to the channel, check out some Foot Manager stuff. We've got a choice of two videos. Enjoy them. I'll see you next time for the Australian Grand Prix.